Hi there everyone. Well some of you might know I have an eating disorder so I'm partial to scanning food items uh, particularly in color. Try to make them as realistic as I can. This was my sandwich from the other day. Decided to scan it with the range and the latest software. I have some other scans I'm going to post but they were done with much earlier software and they're not quite as complete as this one. But uh, I've always scanned food with every one of my scanners I've bought. I have 10 scanners now. I just get addicted to everything, I guess. <laughs> That's how I got to be obese. I was addicted to food. <laughs> but I have fun scanning these things, displaying them. I especially like the RGB and texturing. And that's my favorite part of the scanning is to make a realistic looking scan. And there it is, textured. I was just showing the, the mesh so you could evaluate it. I did this in uh, general object mode, high accuracy. Fused it at 0.1, meshed it at 7. Used all the defaults on everything else pretty much, uh, hole filling, everything. I'm just showing you the different uh, phases of this thing because uh, it's really nice that the software captures or is able to display all the previous uh, iterations of the model before processing. It's kind of neat to go back and look. It's a lot of fun to me. I sure like the range, boy. This is... <laughs> It completes the whole set, the Pop, Pop 2, Mini, now the range, complete toolbox, very complete toolbox. Could make me hungry again if I hadn't just eaten. <laughs> I had something different tonight. This was yesterday's lunch. I believe it was chicken salad. Well, and potato salad. That little yellow smudge you see there on the plate is because I decided to change the location of the potato salad to uh, better display the uh, sandwich contents. <laughs> and so it picked that up too. Anyway, there you have it. My lunch from yesterday, scanned with the Revel Point range, the brand new scanner. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the next scan.